The Piano Man is a whole new man. Billy Joel is just one of the many artists around the world who had to cancel live performances due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Being forced to take a 21-month hiatus from his residency at New York's Madison Square Garden. But on Friday, November 5th, the Vienna singer took the stage for the first time since February 2020, much to the enthusiasm of his fans. Prior to kicking off his set with his hit New York State of Mind, Joel apologized to the crowd for the long break, saying, We're back in the garden. I want to thank you for waiting. In an interview with Howard Stern in October, Joel opened up about his hiatus from performing, revealing that the time off was both aggravating and very enjoyable. While the long break was tough on the singer, it was harder on his band members, whom he made sure to compensate during the lack of live performances. Though he performs under his own name, Joel shared that he doesn't think of himself as a solo artist, but rather as a part of a band. He told Stern, I happen to be the guy in this band that sings the songs, and they put the piano a little bit more out front. At Joel's return concert, which sold out its 20,000 seats, fans noticed more than just his catchy tunes and showmanship. It appears that the singer also debuted an impressive amount of weight loss. In his interview with Howard Stern back in October, Joel revealed that the 50-pound drop in weight was unintentional. The Grammy Award-winning artist said during the interview, I had back surgery early this year, and the pain afterwards was so bad, I lost my appetite." Joel used the loss of appetite as an excuse to eat less, stating that he embraced the lack of desire to eat. Eating less, coupled with what he described as normal life aggravation, seemed to be the magic combination the singer needed to lose weight. Even though he never set out to do so, he was happy to shed some pounds, especially since he'd previously made headlines for surprise weight gain. In 2012, fans noticed for the first time just how much weight the Piano Man star had put on. It was reported at the time that the weight gain was likely due to a double hip replacement surgery that the singer went through in 2010, as well as a slowing metabolism due to age. Billy Joel previously revealed his metabolism wasn't what it used to be while speaking to the Daily Mail in 2016. Still, this didn't stop him from indulging in his favorite dish, pasta. He told the outlet, On a Sunday, I make a big Sunday sauce. Tomatoes, olive oil, garlic. Pasta is my downfall. I love to eat. Joel also expressed his previous disdain for skinny men, telling the Daily Mail, A guy on a diet is not a guy as far as I'm concerned. He also said that there's something icky about a man who picks at his food. Years later, the piano man's eating habits have clearly changed a little. However, despite Joel's 50-pound weight loss, his thoughts on having movie star looks probably haven't. He told Rolling Stone in a 2019 interview, I've always been a schlubby-looking guy, and I ain't about to change. Plastic surgery, wigs, I don't know. It has nothing to do with music. It's all about an image and looks. At the time, he also opened up about his health and getting older in Hollywood. The music icon explained that in his industry, it's a quote, Peter Pan kind of job. You start out and you're young and you're rocking and rolling and that's what you do all your life. You become a little myopic about how old you actually are. Joel said reality sets in when he sees pictures of himself and that unlike some celebrities, he embraces his age. As he put it, I am 70 years old. I've never hidden my age, so why should I start now? Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about celebrity weight loss are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.